Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's unfolding for you, Libra. I want to wish every single one of you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. I'm not sure how you guys celebrate the holidays, but over here on this side, we celebrate and we celebrate pretty big. So I hope you guys are as ecstatic as I am. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of November 2021. Spirits, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Archangels. What are the messages that we have here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love life? What can they expect? What opportunities, new beginnings, or obstacles do they need to overcome for this month regarding their love life? All right. Your first card here, Libra, is the High Priestess, card of your partner or person of interest, Seven of Swords. Next card is the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. Partner's card, Six of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Chariot. Okay, so... What they're showing me here, Libra, I feel like you're intuitively picking up on a lot of things that are unfolding in this connection. For some of you guys, this could be a holding back, a holding back of information or holding back regarding your feelings towards this uh, person. Now, the way they're seeing the situation is the Seven of Swords. I feel that because you're very much in your head, um, Libra, or you're keeping certain things to yourself, not fully vocalizing um, there is a fear here that you may not be completely honest with them or there is a feeling of some type of uh, some type of uncertainty here regarding this connection. This can also represent that the partner is not fully uh, disclosing exactly what's going on or um, just a simple feeling of them, you know, wondering or thinking, are you being completely honest? Are you leading them on? Um, that type of energy. Now with the Queen of Wands here, what they're asking you to do is uh, to be a little bit more, it's almost like this feeling of putting more effort and energy towards getting to know the person as an individual versus uh, the physical aspects. So for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation where the physical connection was extremely you know, strong and powerful um, but when it came to consistency or when it came to wanting to stabilize, there is a feeling like there's a questioning. Is this person really looking for something long term or is this person really interested and willing to put or get into the connection wholeheartedly? With the Ten of Pentacles, this is your desire to want to stabilize this connection and this relationship. There is almost a feeling of um, kind of like... A, feeling intuitively that you're going through a cycle where you've experienced or you've put yourself in a situation that is very similar. Um, so this could indicate a recurring cycle in your life when we're talking about relationships. Sorry, you guys, I apologize for that. Um, now, in regards to how the partner or person of interest is looking at the situation with the Six of Swords, I feel that there is a desire to want to... Uh, create some type of stability, create some type of um, solidification. But I feel like with the Seven of Swords, it could be a person that, uh, or your partner could be dealing with the person that is from their past that is coming back around. And it could be a situation kind of where they end up getting in a relationship with you or connecting with you, but they're not fully moved on or they haven't fully uh, removed themselves from the past relationship because there's almost like a desire to pursue something recently came up where they felt like they may have the opportunity to rekindle something or to stabilize something that in the past wasn't you know or didn't have the potential for stabilization with the chariot card it's like them having to choose or having to make a decision in regards to two options so again if you're dealing with a situation where you feel like your partner has been a little bit more outgoing, um, perhaps not as quickly to communicate, um, and you're you know intuitively picking up like something's going on, um, there is something that they're not being completely honest about, 
you wouldn't be wrong about that because I do see them like uh, the past revisiting them uh, and them not fully being able or not fully being healed that they're not ready to just let it go yet. Um, there is still hope and desire to want to fix the relationship. And we're talking about the past relationship. So again, I do see this as being something temporary. However, what Spirit is telling you is that you need to pay more attention to your intuition, Libra. Stop ignoring the red flags that you're seeing. You don't want to continuously keep going through a cycle where um, your intuition is telling you that they are either disconnecting or pulling back or pulling away. And you try to give the person the benefit of the doubt, ultimately feeling like you're being let down or you're being misguided or they're not being completely honest or for forthcoming with the truth. So again, what Spirit is telling you is learn to pay attention to your intuition. Have more confidence in yourself and knowing that if the person is not reciprocating your energy, it's time to pull that energy back. There is a lot in, this, um, in these cards that are talking to me uh, strictly about the wanting to revisit a situation. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa. It is a general reading. It could be you, the one that's dealing with multiple people. Um, but there is almost like a feeling of wanting to um, give the opportunity to one that you haven't really gotten over. Um, but, you know, again, what they're telling you here is don't continue on the path of choosing the people that continues to keep letting you down or giving you reasons to doubt them uh, it's time you start listening more to your intuition and make decisions based off of that all right my lovelies i want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon bye